Here we are guys, the final episode of the England World Cup career mode series. Honestly, I did not think we'll get here. Semi-finals of the World Cup, we've knocked out teams like Brazil. It's been really good this World Cup run. We've matched England's 2018 run. Let's keep it going guys, just two more games and we could be lifting the World Cup trophy and bringing football back home. Semi-finals, we're going to be facing France. Now, this is going to be ridiculously difficult because I know they've got the likes of Mbappe, Ousmane Dembele, and all those players will be really high rated right now. So, this is going to be a tough one. But if we can beat Brazil 4-0, we can surely get past France. Germany beat Belgium 3 goals to 2. That's an interesting result. So, if we get past France, we'll be facing Germany in the finals. If you guys did enjoy this mini England career mode, make sure to show your appreciation by dropping a like in the video. That really helps the channel. And if you're watching my content for the very first time, do subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode stuff. And also, Saturday, my brand new career mode series will be starting with a club team. I haven't decided which team, but it's going to be epic, guys. So make sure you're there. Saturday, we're going to be starting a brand new career mode. You guys voted for Marcus Rashford as your player of the episode. Can't say I'm surprised. He was superb in the last one. A brace against Brazil. Very impressive. He also scored against Ireland. So there you go. Marcus Rashford is your player of the episode. So I've decided what the forfeit is going to be if we fail to complete two out of the three objectives. And this is going to be painful. I will be forced to wear a Real Madrid jersey while recording the next career mode episode that I do, which will be on Saturday. So starting off my new career mode. Wearing a Real Madrid jersey, that is going to be painful, guys. Of course, I'll have face cam on for that video. I'm just hoping we don't fail the objectives, man. We just need to, you know, win the World Cup and have Rashford win the Golden Boot. I'm really hoping we can get that done because wearing a Real Madrid jersey is not going to be good. And also, I don't think I have one. And that means I'll have to spend, what, about $60 or something to, you know, get myself a Real Madrid jersey. So I'm going to waste a lot of money if we fail two out of the three objectives. So... I'm just really hoping we can get the job done. Here we freaking go. It is time to face France in the semi-finals of the World Cup. And I'm sticking with what I know is good. That is the three at the back formation. It worked out really well for us. In the last episode, we knocked down Brazil. Not just knocked out, we demolished them. So I'm hoping this formation will come clutch once again. And as you guys can see, no Calvert-Lewin, no Harry Kane. Both of them are kind of injured. Harry Kane especially is injured. But Calvert-Lewin is not really injured. But his stamina is so low that I just cannot play him. So Sterling starts up front as our striker. Madison gets another chance in cam. In fact, this is more than a chance. This is literally one of the most important games he's ever going to play. And that's the team that I've put forward, guys. Ali Loftus-Cheek, Trent on the right, Sancho as well. Rashford, who's one of the top scorers of the World Cup so far, starts. Maguire captaining the side. It's a strong team, guys. Let's take a look at France's team. And here we have it. This is the France team that we're going to be facing in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Kylian Mbappe up front as the lone striker. Awar behind him. He's actually really talented. And as we are in, what, the fourth season of career mode, he should be really good by now. Griezmann, Lemar, Kante, Tolisso. This is a brilliant side. And I'm sure most of the players will be touching like 90 overall or something. No Usman Dembele, which is very interesting. Is he injured or something? I'm not so sure, but weird to see him being dropped for such a big game. Well, that's not great. Griezmann having an early chance and off the crossbar it goes. What a start to this World Cup semi-finals. We could have easily been 1-0 down. Thankfully, it was Griezmann's right foot. If it was his left, it would have probably gone in. But off the crossbar, what a start to this game. Rashford. Sancho in behind. What a run Sancho has made. Sancho gets the shots off. Lafont makes the save. I'm not going to lie. I tried to, you know, do a fake shot. It just didn't register. And there you go, Sancho with the shot. Lafont with an easy save. So far, it's been an electric game, end-to-end -end stuff. Thomas Lemar utilizing his pace. He's actually faster than Trent. Puts in a good cross. John Stones gets it away. We've got to be careful of crosses. To be fair, I'm really glad that France don't have Giroud or someone tall because you guys know how many goals I concede with headers. So dealing with Griezmann aerially is not that difficult. Oh, Madison might actually get there. He does. We get super lucky, but Madison couldn't get the shot off. That was actually fabulous defending from Samuel Umtiti, a play that we've coached recently. Uh, so annoying that he was there. I could have really scored that, man. What a chance wasted. Raheem Sterling. That's actually a decent hold-up play from him in behind to Deli Ali. This is looking great. I'm going to cut this one back. Oh, my God. Why didn't I play that one to Rashford? In fact, I was aiming at Rashford. It just didn't reach him. 
If that would have gone to Rashford, 100% we would be in the lead now. That is so frustrating. It went to Sancho of all people, who was actually the only one in the box who was marked. That is what I call a huge chance wasted. It is half time, nil nil. I really believe we should be in the lead. We've got 45 minutes more, and of course, extra time if the scoreline is nil nil. But we've got to get the job done in the second half, guys. We can do it. I feel like we are really strong enough to get the job done. Well, here go France on the attack. Martial has been brought on. Now it's Awar on the attack. Maguire as well. Kante gets the shots off. Thankfully, not on target. Deli Ali now to Jaden Sancho. Raheem Sterling gets the ball. He goes down inside the box and we get ourselves a penalty. Umtiti committed there and that was a terrible challenge. Is he going to get sent off for that? No way. Samuel Umtiti has just been sent off. A red card in the Champions League semi-finals. And now we've got a chance to take the lead. Marcus Rashford has a chance to score his sixth goal in the World Cup. This is an important moment of the game. It is obviously going to be Rashford, guys. He's going to take on the job. Can Marcus Rashford put this English side into the lead? He's missed. He's actually missed the keeper. Save that. No freaking way, guys. Although we have the man advantage, momentum will be now in France's favor. This is going to get interesting. How did I miss that penalty, man? It's okay, guys. It's okay. We do have the man advantage. Let's make most of that. Sancho. In behind to Rashford. I'm sure he wants to make amends for that mistake he made. Here's Marcus Rashford. Rashford with the finesse shot, but straight into Lafon's hands. Lafon's has saved literally everything that's come from Marcus Rashford. I'm sure he's pissed. How is this game going to extra time, guys? Like, we should be winning this. We've had way more chances than France. We've now got a man advantage as well. We had a penalty and we missed as well. What's happening in this one? This seems like a typical England international bottle job story. But we can't let that happen, guys. We cannot disappoint the team in this game. We've got 30 minutes now, extra time, potentially penalties. Let's get the job done. I'm really hoping to, you know, score in this extra time because we've got a man advantage in the semi-finals. Let's make use of it. I'm making two very aggressive changes. Phil Ford and on for Madison because his stamina is very low. And also Hudson Odoi comes for Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's on a yellow card as well. Sancho will play on the right and Hudson Odoi on the left. Let's hope it works. Hudson Odoi in acres of space and that is a beautiful ball. I'm going to lay this one off to Marcus Rashford who gets the shots off and he hits the post. He's just not having any sort of luck in this game. Rashford could have easily scored a hat-trick in this one on another day. But France are just... It's just not working for him against France. And it's so frustrating because we should have won this game by now. And now things are just not going well for us. Back to Deli Alley. It's now Phil Ford and the youngster on the chance. Phil Ford and shoots and it's in. We've scored, guys. We've scored against France. Somehow, Phil Ford and the youngster, the super sub, comes up clutch for us. 1-0 against France. Now, finally, it's taken us 100 minutes to actually score against this French side, who've been pretty average, if I'm being honest. But finally, the goal comes. And now, massive relief, as we do have the man advantage. And Golo Kante... I mean, he needs to be blamed for that. He could have blocked that one. But a fantastic driven shot there. Bottom right corner. No way Lafont was saving that. And we have taken the lead, guys. We've got about 20 minutes left in, the, in this game. Let's hold on, guys. We have to get to the final. And here goes Raheem Sterling. We could be making it 2-0 now. And that should seal things up for us. Still Raheem Sterling. Goes down inside the box. That's another penalty. We've got a chance to score now against France. And I think we can get the job done now. We can seal this game now if we score. I mean, 2-0, there's no way France are making the comeback if we can make it 2-0 now. Rashford has a chance to score. He's already missed insane amount of chances in this game, but can he convert? It is time, guys. Marcus Rashford to redeem himself and score in a World Cup semi-final. This time, Rashford scores, and he's going to run down straight to the camera. Marcus Rashford scores his sixth goal in the World Cup. And England lead 2-0 against France. What a thrilling game this has been. We've wasted chance after chance after chance. But finally, in extra time, things are looking great for us. 2-0 up against this pretty average French side, if I'm being honest. You know, they haven't been impressive at all. And we've taken complete advantage of that. I'm bringing on Eric Dyer for Loftus-Cheek. You know, just to shot up the result. Hopefully, we can hold on to this lead with Eric Dyer now in that midfield role. Raheem Sterling out wide to Jaden Sancho. Can we score one more? Maybe. Yes, we can. No way, Rashford. How has he missed that? But you know what? I'm not going to complain. We've actually knocked out France from the World Cup. And we are through to the finals of the 2022 World Cup. 
Just one more game and we will have brought football back home. It's coming home, boys. We're just one game away from getting the job done. Even Kylian Mbappe couldn't get past Harry Maguire. And of course, his teammates. Let's go, guys. Finals of the World Cup. It's England versus Germany. It's going to be one hell of a game. This is it, guys. The final game of this England career mode. It's the World Cup final. We are here. Germany versus England. It's coming home, boys. I can feel it. Let's have a look and see how Germany got themselves into the finals of the World Cup. So they were in Group C. They got through their group, topping it, of course, with six points. Uruguay in second. Round of 16, they knocked out Greece 4-0. Quarterfinals, they beat Spain. Okay, so they've had a decent run in the World Cup. I mean, facing some difficult opponents. Semi-finals, of course, Belgium 3-2. And, of course, now the finals of the World Cup against England. Also, third place game, France finish, finish third in the World Cup. Have a look at this, guys. The top scorers. This Rashford is right now the top scorer of the 2022 World Cup, which means we will be completing that objective after this World Cup finals. So... That's pretty awesome. I won't have to put on a Real Madrid jersey as I'm a Barcelona fan. I'm sure y'all are aware of that. So Timo Werner, five goals in six games. As long as we avoid Werner from scoring, I think we'll have the objective done regardless of whether Rashford scores or not. So that is pretty awesome. Have a look at this, guys. This is this, Look at this, guys. This is typical EA. Um, FIFA World Cup Final Preview, we've got Deli Ali in a Spurs kit and Leroy Sané in a Man City kit. What on earth have EA done? Oh, come on, man. You've got to be putting more effort into career mode EA. Like, this is just embarrassing. I, <laughs> it, it's actually hilarious, but at the same time, it's just embarrassing. But anyways, let's move on. Here we go. This is the lineup for the World Cup Final. We are sticking with the three at the back formation. Maguire captaining the side. Pickford in goal. Loftus-Cheek, Ali and now Sterling in camp. Calvert-Lewin back in the team after his heroics in the, I should say, quarterfinals of the World Cup. He was superb against Brazil, if I'm not wrong. Jaden Sancho and Trent on either side. Rashford, of course, up top as well. That is our team. And this is it, guys. The final game of the World Cup. Let's get the trophy, guys. We've won the Champions League four times in the career mode now. We've also won countless amount of La Liga and Premier League titles. But the World Cup is always something special. Let's get it done. This is the Germany team we'll be facing. They've got Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. Finally, he's going to be Germany's number one. Sula, Tar, Kimmich, Hendricks. That's a good defense. Weigel, Dahoud and Goretzka in midfield. Werner, Brandt and... I'm not sure who this Wolf guy is, but there you go, he's in the Germany team as well. To be fair, if I'm being honest, I found the Brazil and France team a lot more difficult in comparison to this Germany side, but that's on paper. Anything can happen on the pitch, so let's get right into it, guys. It is Germany versus England. Leon Goretzka in behind to Werner, beats one, gets the shots off, Trent Alexander-Arnold with the block. We've got to be really careful because conceding the first goal in a World Cup final could have... Tremendous impact on the game. To be fair, that could have been given a penalty if that was real life. Trent Alexander-Arnold blocked that with his elbow. Wait, what's just happened here? I'm confused. I'm insanely confused. I mean, what's going on? It's a penalty for Germany? They are cheating. How is that a pen? Ball played into the box from a corner. Are you shitting me? I cannot believe this has just happened. How was that a penalty, guys? Someone please explain. Let's have a look at the replay, instant replay. Because that was just appalling. Ball played into the box. Let's see what happens. Have a look at Deli Ali here. Deli Ali. Deli Ali falls. Oh my god. How is that a penalty? By the way, credit to Pickford. Good save from him. But how is that a penalty, guys? We're being robbed in the World Cup final. It's a huge moment for Jordan Pickford. He'll be a national hero if he saves this one. He goes right and Jordan Pickford saves. I cannot believe the scenes in this World Cup final. Jordan Pickford keeps us in this game. 15 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. Thanks to Jordan Pickford for making that insane save. And we go on the counter-attack now. It's Jaden Sancho. Imagine scoring straight on the counter-attack. No way they've cleared it off the line. Nicolas Sula, not off the line, but you get what I mean. But oh my god, what a final it's been. Insane drama. I mean, wrong penalty decisions. Straight away going on a counter and almost scoring. That's what I call football. Germany on the attack once again. Timo Werner shoots and Pickford is having the game of his life in a World Cup final. Couldn't have been any better for us. Big save once again. Timo Werner is on fire as well. Half time and it's been an exciting World Cup final so far. I mean, chances both ends. 
Both teams just going at it, but so far I must say Germany have been the better team, but we should have taken the lead on that counter-attack. But besides that, we really haven't had any chances. So I'm hoping we can step up now in this second half and, you know, maybe get ourselves a goal because I don't want this going to extra time because you all know what happened the last time Germany in a World Cup final went to extra time. Goetz has scored that winner, so don't want that happening again. Now it is Loftus-Cheek, finds space, shoots and hits the post. Come on! How often are we going to hit the post? It's so freaking annoying. Last game we hit it once as well in a World Cup final. That was Loftus-Cheek's chance to be a national hero. And he got robbed. Chance for us now maybe. Marcus Rashford in behind to Sancho. This is looking great. Here goes Jaden Sancho with all the pace. I'm going to try and find Trent. It's fallen to Trent. Trent couldn't get the shots off. That was fabulous defending from Germany. And it's actually a goal kick. What? Rashford lurking. Chance for him to maybe shoot with his right foot. Gets the shots off, not enough power. I wanted to press the pass button to Sterling. Instead, I tapped the shoot button. That is such a stupid mistake from me that could cost us. Looks like it's going to be full time and nil nil, and we will be going to extra time. And that is that, guys. It's full time, nil nil against Germany. We are going into extra time in this World Cup final. It's been a tough game, if I'm being honest. Second half, I think we created a lot more, and we kind of deserve to be in the lead and win the World Cup, but. We couldn't take our chances. Germany couldn't take their chances in that first half. It's going to be an exciting remaining 30 minutes of this final. As much as I hate to do this, but yeah, Sancho is being brought off as well because of fitness reasons. And that's about that for our changes. Let's hope it works. Will Foden scored that crucial goal for us against France. Can he do it again? Here we go, guys. Chance for us on the counter-attack. Phil Foden out wide to Trent Alexander-Arnold, who's pretty much dead in terms of stamina. Finds Calvert-Lewin. This could be it for us. Deli Ali now. Still Deli Ali. A bit of open space. Marcus Rashford goes down inside the box. Ref, please. How is that on a penalty? Not much time left. Look at the German defense. They literally have everyone at the back. Hudson Odoi. Sane defending against him. Hudson Odoi puts in the cross. It's Calvert-Lewin with the header. He couldn't direct that towards goal. That was his chance, man. He would have become probably the country's hero if he would have scored that. But... How has he missed that? He really should be scoring those. Here we go, guys. We're going to be trying to save the first penalty of the game. Pickford has already done it in this game. Can he do it again? Jordan Pickford is the hero in this game. He's made a fabulous save there. Now it's time for Rashford to score. Can he convert? Marcus Rashford goes right. And Ter Stegen goes right as well. No, we've given away the advantage. Come on, Werner, please miss. I'm going to stay down the middle. I'm going to stay down the middle. In fact, no, Pickford just moved on his own and saved that. I'm not complaining. Germany have missed two out of two penalties. Can Deli Ali score now? I'm going right once again. How is this Stegen reading every penalty I take? We both have missed two penalties now. Come on. I've got to save this from Sane. I'm going right. There you go. Jordan Pickford has saved three out of three penalties. Guys, I'm going to go left now. I'm going to go. I've missed. I've actually missed a penalty. These are probably the worst penalties you guys are ever going to see. I hope he misses now. Come on, Pickford. Make the save once again. He's actually missed. What's going on with these penalties? Literally seven penalties so far. And every single one has been either saved or just has gone out. Unbelievable. But can Trent Alexander-Arnold score? I'm going right this time. What even is going on here? This is some kind of a joke. Eight penalties... All eight have been either saved. There you go. I I'm not even thinking and I'm saving these penalties. It's actually a joke. It's actually a joke. What even is going on? Chance for Calvert-Lewin to win this for his country. I don't even know what to do with this penalty. I'm going right. And finally we've scored. And Calvert-Lewin has won the World Cup for England. After the most shocking penalties you're going to ever see in any game of FIFA. Ten penalties and nine of them were missed or saved unbelievable scenes but we've done it guys we have won the world cup with england football's coming home it's time for harry maguire to lift the world cup trophy no harry kane but maguire helped this team achieve the world cup and there you go guys football has indeed come home and england have won the world cup for the second time in their history what a performance guys what a game to be fair performance wise we did so well up to the final and then it was a bit tragic in the final. Shocking penalties at display. But hey, we came through. And it was, if I'm not wrong, Calvert-Lewin, the man who scored the winning penalty. It's definitely time to celebrate. Harry Slaphead Maguire lifts the World Cup trophy. Look at him go, guys. 
And there you go, we've achieved World Cup success with England. So Marcus Rashford does indeed finish top scorer of the World Cup along with Gabriel Jesus that helps us complete one of the objectives so that's fantastic. Six goals in seven games. Any other England players in here? Probably not. Not in the top 25. That's a bit weird. Assist wise we've got um, Trent Alexander-Arnold with a couple of assists. Anyone else? No one else in the top 25. That's a bit weird. Pickford. Clean sheet wise for can't complain at all. I mean, he's been the best goalkeeper in the tournament. And in that penalty shootout, the guy just was insane. A quick tournament goals update. And I'm so glad that I won't have to wear a Real Madrid jersey for recording the first episode of my new career mode. Because that would have been tragic. So we've completed the Golden Boot objective. Marcus Rashford, of course, got us there. Won the Golden Boot for us. It's coming home. We won the World Cup, of course. We couldn't score a single goal this World Cup from outside the box. Just shows how influential this new patch is. I can barely score from outside the box anymore. And it's a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. And that is that for this mini England career mode series. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this World Cup run with England. We were successful. We got the job done. World Cup champions with England. But anyways, you guys know, new career mode starts this Saturday and it's going to be epic. I have a few videos like experiments and other stuff planned for the next couple of days or so. But yeah, the big one, the career mode video, will be out, of course, on Saturday. Cannot wait for that. If you guys enjoyed this England career mode series, I'd really appreciate you guys dropping a like on the video. If you're watching my content for the very first time, do subscribe for more FIFA 19 stuff. And I shall see you guys next time for another career mode video on this channel.